Dr. Connie Barr, Chair of the Needham School Committee, and Susanna Han, our uh, Interim uh, Director of Health Services in the Needham Public Schools, thank you for joining me for a brief conversation about uh, what's happening in the Needham Schools regarding health and safety and a new testing program we're about to implement. Before we even talk about uh, new programs and changing things up, you know, Dr. Barr, uh, the schools have been open for learning, and I know with the school committee's leadership and certainly Susanna's expertise, uh, that's, that's a big part of why we have been, uh, we've been open. And I know the school committee appreciates those efforts. Absolutely. The, the, it's, the fact that we've been able to have most of our students in school most of the time has been what we've really been looking for for this school year. And it's really due to the efforts of leadership, planning, especially with the continually changing guidelines about what we should be doing, and those are really masterminded by Susanna and her and the nurses, the nursing staff, and the um, uh, other leaders in the schools, the principals who make the changes as necessary as well. And we're so grateful for all of those efforts which have allowed our students to stay in school for the most part and to be as safe as possible. Also, allowing our staff to stay in school and be as safe as possible. Well, it's, it's been a, a huge lift for sure. And, um, you know, Susanna, you have been working, both of you have been working on the Joint Committee on Health and Safety you have been working pretty much 24-7 with our nursing staff and our administrators to, to try to help, uh, uh, you know, keep the rules in place and, and help us move forward to be healthy and safe. And now the testing regimen is changing again. Can you share with us what are the components of what's, what's going to be changing in the need of public schools? Yes. So what um, Desi had, had done is to, um, to help guide away from contact tracing um, as COVID is becoming endemic and um, instead pivot to um, a testing option that would allow for uh, families to have tests at home, especially as tests have been very scarce and hard to get. Um, and so this new testing regimen will move away, contact tracing, exposure notifications, and test and stay will end. It'll all go away. It'll all go away, okay. and we'll be pivoting to um, at-home tests that will be going home with uh, students and staff each week and then also the um, an addition of bringing in symptomatic testing that would start February 9th and the symptomatic testing is only for students and staff who become symptomatic during the school day. Right. We right. would want people who are sick to stay home and test at home um, so that symptomatic testing would start an hour into the school day before that we'd have kids go home. So three things I heard you say, contact tracing and our existing test and state program goes away around February 7th, that week of February 7th. And um, it, the second thing will be that we'll provide at-home tests. I think Dr. Barr, you can hold that one up there. We, we have, we'll talk about that in a moment uh, for our students and staff. And then thirdly, we will implement symptomatic testing um, for our uh, um, family, for our students and staff who, who might develop symptoms during the day. And I know that sometimes students already come to the nurse's office not feeling well, and nurses are already, and they will continue to assess whether or not that child uh, needs to go home, go back to the class, or in this case, uh, receive a symptomatic test. And, and that will be what the procedure would look like. Exactly. And as DESE continues to release information and we continue to adjust, we're actually going to end the contact tracing and exposure notifications on uh, February 3rd because February 3rd. Um, DESE's most recent um, thing has been when, when test kits start to go home with students, that's when that ends. Okay, so that will be February 3rd, a couple of days earlier. Yep. So, Dr. Barr, you're holding one of the test kits. Now, there are two tests in each one of those boxes, and we have sufficient test kits for every student and every staff member uh, for, the, for the foreseeable future while we implement this program. Um, what, what's, the, what's the plan, Suzanne and Connie, about when, you know, why, why Connie would be, even be distributing these to families? Well, so the whole testing landscape has changed and um, moving toward the ability to test routinely in a family twice a week is, has become really important. Um, these tests have been scarce, so for us to be able to provide enough for every student and staff to have a family, to have, for each student and staff to have two a week, it really strengthens our ability to test at home, to find asymptomatic cases, to have family, if the plan is for these to be done twice a week for asymptomatic folks, but if a family 
thinks that they need to use one for a, a family member who's symptomatic, or a student who's symptomatic, they're able to do that, or staff can do that as well. I think we've all wondered, where can we get the tests that we need? How should we be doing this? And this is just another way to provide a bit of a structure for testing to help with some of the uncertainty that we all deal with around COVID. And there will be very explicit instructions about how families and staff can use the test. The main thing is they'll be available for two a week for each student and staff in the in the near future. Well, and I we you know we're we're depending on the state is providing these tests for us and Needham uh, with the support of our town manager and select board also provided some tests so that we can provide more than what the state program is allowing for. So I think that provides an extra dose of confidence for our staff members and families. Um, I want to talk about how families can opt into this program in a moment. Um, Susanna, can you share a little bit about this? The state program wants testing. Um, we're doing it differently because we're providing an additional test. Um, but maybe outline what's the big idea during the week? What should a, what should a family expect to do regarding testing? Yeah, and so uh, the DESE program is to pick one day of the week when everybody in our school community, students and staff, would, would be testing. And so we picked Sunday so that we're, we're, day before school starts. we're catching Makes anything sense. before um, before that school week starts. You know, some people have asked, could I do it Monday morning before school? And that would be fine, too. Yep. Um, the second test um, could either be used on like a Wednesday, so halfway through the week, or if that student uh, becomes symptomatic beforehand, um, that that Wednesday test could be used for that student a bit earlier. What I, what I like about what we're doing in Needham is that we've actually provided some flexibility for families and staff. So you're receiving two tests per student, um, and we want the expectation is everyone does this on Sunday, um, you know, just to, to be reassured that you're coming to school as well as completing our health attestation. You know, we still have these layered uh, things. We have these masks. These masks are not a forever thing. We're going to be looking to see when we might be able to uh, sooner rather than later remove our masks. But we have some protocols in place that we're going to continue with. And um, these two tests are really helpful. So taking a test on Sunday and then midweek, Wednesday is the suggestion. But we want families to have some flexibility because different things are going on with, with health and families, with busy family lives, the number of children you have. Um, so we just want you to have that tool to, to really help assess your health and safety um, as we move forward. So we have to get this information out to families. And, and actually, this conversation, I hope, is, is, uh, is, is helpful to, uh, to make that happen. Um, and then the, in the brief time remaining, what I would like to you know, uh, let families know that we have worked on is that I will uh, be pushing out an email to families. And families actually. Um, on Monday afternoon, this coming Monday afternoon, we'll get a uh, text or email from our health attestation application that folks already receive every morning. Except it's going to have a different message this time. It's going to ask them to opt in to this testing program, uh, receiving the at-home tests. And that's how they get on the list to receive a test that children will bring home in their backpack next Friday afternoon. As far as symptomatic testing is going, 70% of our families or so have already signed up for our that right. program. Right. So this, the symptomatic testing is part of the DESE CIC testing program. And so if they have already signed up in the fall, then they're all set. all set. If they haven't or they're not sure if they've signed up, they can follow the link and sign up for that DESE CIC um, testing program, which would um, allow for symptomatic testing. Uh, during the day if their student starts feeling sick. And just to be clear, we, we, the DESE is the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, and CIC is the contractor that DESE has provided us to help manage our testing programs. So families will um, receive from us, will push out and opt in for the tests and to receive the test. And families, if they've already signed up, for the, the program, the symptomatic testing program. They're all set. If they're not sure, if they'd like to sign up, they'll also get a link to go ahead and do that. Uh, so it, it's, it's a two-step process, but really they only have to do it once, and, and they'll be all set, and I think that's, that's, the, uh, that's the way to go. And our plan then uh, is next week to uh, package and, and distribute these tests, which will go home um, with our uh, uh, students in their, in their backpack. Now, uh, Susanna, if, if after a family takes a test 
or if any time during the next couple of weeks they have a question, what's the best way for families to reach us so that we can be responsive? Um, so we're launching a, a call center to help with family questions and also to do intake of the um, any positives from the home tests. Great. And so that is COVID at Needham.k12.ma.us. COVID at Needham.k12.ma.us. Sounds familiar, and that's <laughs> great. So questions and positive test results from families can go there. So, yep, the they'll get a link uh, for a form to re report positive tests, and um, if they have any questions, uh, the COVID uh, emails there. Thanks for all this good work. Moving on to a new testing regimen, and uh, off we go. Thank you. Thank you.